There's something that's really important to understand about vitamin A that's not well known, in, in, at least in the general public. There, there are two forms of vitamin A. There is active or preformed vitamin A, which is retinol or retinol esters, and then there are vitamin A precursors, like beta carotene or carotenoids. So these, these are found in carrots and uh, bell peppers, the, the brightly colored foods, whereas the retinol and the retinol esters are almost exclusively found in animal products like liver and egg yolks. Now, here's the key thing to understand. The vitamin A precursors, beta carotene and carotenoids, can be converted in our body to the active forms of vitamin A. But that conversion is somewhat limited. And for some people, they don't do it very well at all. Has anyone ever done a, like carrot juicing cleanse or, or fast and, and their, their hands, the palms turned orange or has seen somebody that did that? That's probably someone who doesn't make that conversion very well. And so they get a buildup of the carotenes that actually affects their skin pigmentation. Unfortunately, food labels don't really differentiate between uh, vitamin A precursors and active vitamin A. Some supplement labels do. So you'll see 20% is beta carotene, then you assume that 80% is the active form, but many food labels don't. They just list all vitamin A together. Um, so that means it, it's possible for someone to be eating plenty of total vitamin A, including the precursors, but still be deficient in the active forms of vitamin A, retinol or, or retinol esters. To get adequate amounts of retinol, retinol or retinol esters from the diet, uh, one option is to consume three to six ounces of liver, beef liver, ch chicken liver a week. Um, organ meats have definitely fallen out of favor over the past few years. How many people eat organ meats in this room? Okay, that's probably more than the average group. You know, many of our grandparents did. Um, but they actually, pound for pound, if you look at essential nutrients, they're one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. And if you look at the eating patterns of traditional hunter-gatherer groups around the world, almost universally they consume organ meats. Uh, egg yolks, particularly pasture-raised eggs uh, from chickens that have been eating green grass have tend to have uh, pretty high amounts of preformed vitamin A as well. If supplementation is necessary, one way of getting uh, preformed vitamin A is cod liver oil. So it's oil from the, the livers of codfish. Um, and this isn't so much of a supplement in, in terms of being a synthetic nutrient as it is a, a superfood or a food supplement um, that you would add to your diet. One teaspoon contains about 4,000 IU of retinol, which is uh, right in line with what the RDA is for retinol or retinol equivalents.